When ice is added to water, the ice gains energy and the water loses energy. The latent heat of fusion for ice is also added to our equation because the ice in this case completely melts. We want to list all of our given information. The problem is asking for the amount of ice we need to add to the hot water to cool it to 20 degrees Celsius. We have the initial temperatures of the ice and the water, as well as the mass of the water. It is also necessary to use the latent heat of fusion for water. Since the system comes to an equilibrium temperature, we will set the sum of the heats equal to zero. The ice and the water are exchanging heat and the ice is melting, leaving us with three heats. The heat gained by the ice, the latent heat of fusion from the ice melting, and the heat lost by the water. We can expand the equation to include the known and unknown variables. Our goal is to find the mass of the ice, so we factor out mi, and divide both sides by the quantity in parentheses. Now we can input our known values into the equation. We use the specific heat of water, not ice, for Ci because the ice has changed into water when it is gaining heat from 0 to 20 degrees Celsius. After we plug in the numbers, we are ready to calculate the mass of the ice. The mass of the ice is 0.8 kilograms. 